Okay, so hi, I'm Kristen. I'm Rachel. I'm Rhea. Um, and so ours was from the experiment from today, early today. Um, so it was about supercapacitors and um, so we all know the problem with like solar and wind um, energy is that it's really hard to store and so we use most of electricity like during the night but the sun is obviously out during the day when it's um, when we're not using as much electricity so the, pro uh, the solution for that would be to try and find a very efficient way to store all that energy and so there's several different ways that they have up here um, they have batteries which are have low power but have very high energy. And then there's capacitors that have high ha power but low energy. And then su super capacitors, which is what we were working with today, um, have medium to high power but medium energy. And so a way to move, um, change a capacitor to a super capacitor is to increase the area and decrease the distance between the plates. Um, so it was kind of just like a quick overview of our, like the main part of our experiment. And so what we see here is um, they have Battery City, which has um, heavy traffic, and um, it's a 20 mile per hour road because we have the, the city plan on the side, which is very like twisted and turns, and there's a lot of turns, so they can't go as fast. And then there's a lot of cars. And then the next one over um, in Capacitor City, there's moderate traffic, so it's kind of like in between. And then it's a 60 mile per hour road. And then it's slightly more efficient with like, not as many turns in the road and it's more like straighter blocks. And then the bottom one, which is super capacitor city, um, has no delays and it's also a 60 mile per hour road. And then it's a very efficient city plan because there's a lot of different streets which the cars can go to and not have all be on one path. So this drawing is comparing batteries, capacitors, and super capacitors to cars driving on the road. So in the first box, there is heavy traffic caused by the winding roads, as you can see in the city plan. So in the top left box, um, you can see the cars driving on the road and there is a lot of traffic. This is because batteries are really slow and chemical reactions take a while to happen. The cars represent charged particles while the sides of the road are plates. The bus you can see driving on the road is big compared to the cars next to it, representing a bigger area. In the top right box, there is moderate delays because capacitors have high power but lack energy. And in the bottom box, super capacitors are like the perfect middle between capacitors and batteries. They have medium to high power and about medium energy. There are no delays due to increased area represented by the city plan. So for this drawing, there are several things that we liked and there are some limitations. We liked how they made the city plans and how they drew the roads. It really showed which uh, cities were more efficient than others. Uh, also, they showed like the areas for different vehicles, um, like in Battery City, the bus was bigger. Um, however, for the analogy, they used scientific words for the cities. Uh, but um, in Battery City, they really show how uh, the cars are going slower, and in Super Cap City, the cars um, are faster. However, it doesn't really show how that super capacitor is um, more efficient than the capacitor. Uh, it's also confusing how there's more traffic in super capacitor compared to the capacitor city. But overall, we really like the um, how they were able to make such a simple drawing out of this concept. So, thank you. Questions? Uh, a battery can have more energy than a super capacitor, right? So uh, why are there more cars in the super capacitor? Um, I think that was kind of one of the things we weren't sure on because like there's only like one car in Capacitor City and then like there's a lot of cars in Super Capacitor City. So I think we were trying to figure okay, out like but, a way. But wait. 
Are they all cars? Um, I mean, I guess there's like, I think Rachel was talking about how like the different sizes of the cars um, were representing like a bigger area. But do we think they're all cars? The bottom they look like cars and the right they look like cars. What about the left? I guess they could be like bigger um, like trucks or something. That, or um, buses. Yeah. yeah. Buses. Okay, so then if you if you made the left buses and the bottom the right two the other two cars, could you use that to um, make the analogy map better onto the science? So I think what what you're talking about power, which is speed and yeah. energy, which is capacity. So specifically, say what you're gonna map it onto, speed or capacity, and how you might be able to use that. Um, well, I guess batteries have a lower power, so like the, I guess the buses could be taking a lot longer on the road or something. Yeah. Okay, but now map it onto, so that's good, uh, but then ma also map it onto capacity. Also, buses can hold more people. So by showing the buses, it shows that it could carry more people, or in this case, particles. So what are what are people what are people analogies for? Um, the electrons. Yeah. So the people can be electrons, and so then you can have batter the higher capacity of batteries because you're filling these big buses. Mm -hmm. Um. Other questions? Yes. Um, okay. So the first one in Battery City, it's 20 miles per hour, and then the other two are both 60 miles per hour. Um, and that's because um, both the capacitor and supercapacitor have kind of both medium and high power. So it's kind of supposed to represent that they're going like similar speeds, but they just have different like energy. So that, that's good. Um, I would modify the speed limits. So how, because the supercapacitors and the capacitors are not actually the same. Yeah. So how would you maybe modify the speed limits? I guess make the capacitor a little bit higher because it's kind of that peak point of the power and then the supercapacitors can be just a little bit lower and they go all the way down to like similar to batteries? It actually can be a lot higher. The capacitors can go super fast. Okay. The capacitors are very, very fast systems. They just don't store very much. Mm. Uh, the supercapacitors are that compromise of storing a little more and being not too slow. But capacitors are actually way faster than supercapacitors. You just don't have the electronics to measure them, so you don't know that. <laughs> okay, one more question. One more question, then we can have a quick break. Who's it gonna be? I don't know if the parents have earned their <laughs> coffee break yet. Okay, students, can you ask a question of your lab mates? Oh, you guys are gonna make me do it. Okay. So, in terms of the analogy, um, there is a direct, in terms of the city plan, which is trying to say sort of what are the pathways, it's a really cool idea. I might modify the city plans a little bit. So how would you modify the city plans to better reflect the real pathways in the system? Or which one would you want to modify? Well, maybe for the super capacitor city, because in the city plan, you can see it's really condensed. 
and tightly packed. I mean, it is organized and it's not windy, but I would feel like the capacitor city would be better. So the uh, the so the the supercapacitor has lots of it, it's organized, but it's got lots of little things. What were you saying about the capacitor part? Oh, I was just saying how um, it should be more spaced out, like the capacitor city city plan. Actually, I think the supercapacitor city plan is actually pretty right. It's got lots of places to put electrons or cars, and a supercapacitor is a nanoscale thing with lots and lots of places to put electrons or cars. Oh, I guess the capacitor doesn't really have as much space to hold the electrons, so it should probably be not as many like roads around. The capacitor would probably just be one road because it's just a flat surface. It doesn't really have any other place to put electrons. Uh, and the battery, it's a little different, but the windy road is a pretty good analogy because there's just only so many ways for current to get through a battery. And so, so I'd probably modify the city plan to make it for the capacitor to make it even more different from the supercapacitor. Okay, all right, so good job explaining this. Can the author or artist stand up? <laughs> all right, artist team, that's right. <laughs>